So now I've rinsed the bike off thoroughly and left it to dry. And although it looks pretty clean, it's still covered in this fine film of oil all over. So I'm going to use this water-based degreaser to get rid of it. I'm using the brush again as a kind of a belt and braces approach. If your bike wasn't that dirty to start with, then you might get away with just spraying this on. Whatever you do though, don't let bike cleaners like this one dry out. Work on a small part of the bike at a time, then rinse it off and move on. Use a brush on your mechanical bits and a sponge on your bodywork. And whatever you do, don't leave your sponge on the ground. Oh! Then give your whole bike a quick going over with soap and water. Washing up liquid contains a lot of salt, so I just use a cheap car shampoo instead and a good quality sponge. Rinse it off and then get your chamois leather out. A top quality chamois leather will last you a long time if you look after it, so buy a good one. Don't waste your time on a synthetic one as they just don't work as well. Ever wondered why chamois go hard when you leave them? The secret to good chamois love is soap. After you've finished using it, wash it in warm water and lather it up with a normal bar of soap. This will keep it soft. The next time you want to use it, rinse it in warm water again and off you go. Start on the cleanest bits and work your way down to the wheels. Don't be tempted to use your chamois on the mechanical parts. Just leave them to dry out and keep your chamois oil free. Cleaning the parts you removed earlier is just the same story. Gently scrape the big bits of crud off first. WD-40 and a soft brush, oil-based degreaser and rinse, water-based degreaser and rinse, and chamois. Polishing them up will get rid of any minor scratches, and then we'll put them all to one side, ready for refitting. The same applies to chain guards. Instead of polishing them up though, we'll protect them with some specific plastic cleaner like this. Lots of time and effort later, you should go from this to something more like this and end up with a row of shiny bits like this, ready to go back on the bike. Now you may have already noticed the back wheel on this bike is really scruffy. The paint is covered in chips and scratches. So I'm gonna use this opportunity whilst the bike is degreased and before I put any polish on to touch it up with this black touch-up pen. And before I do that, I'm gonna use some cellulose thinners just to give the wheel a wipe down and make sure the paint's gonna stick properly though it should already be pretty clean from all the degreasing we've done. Now I'm fortunate enough to have plain black wheels so I can get away with a gloss black touch-up pen, but you should be able to get the matching touch-up pen from your local dealer. So after giving the pen a really good shake, wipe off the brush so there's not much paint left on. Then really carefully apply the paint in small sections. As it dries, it will flatten out. And when we've polished the wheels, the fresh paint should look a lot less noticeable. This job is much more easily done on the bike because you can spin the wheel round as you work without smudging the paint. If you spill any paint, just give it a quick wipe with the thinner soaked rag and it will come off straight away. Okay, so whilst that's drying, I'm gonna start polishing the alloy. So now we're on to polishing the metal parts, which on a sports bike, especially one of this age, basically means polishing the unlacquered alloy. There's a very easy way of telling whether your alloy is unlacquered or not. If you get some normal bodywork polish and just give that a quick whiz on some alloy, if it turns black like that, then you know it's unlacquered, so you can start using metal polish on it. If it doesn't turn black, just stick with regular bodywork polish. Now, someone in the past has polished this alloy frame. I'm not a massive fan of polished frames, I've got to be honest. So I'm gonna use a nylon pad and some metal polish like this, just to try and get a sort of semi-satin finish. When you're using a scourer, it will mark the alloy, so you need to polish in a single direction like this. You can use a soft brush on cast or rough parts to get into all the crevices. Now, just like the frame, the exhaust can has also been polished at some time in the past, so I'm just gonna use a nylon scourer on that too. Again, work the polish in the direction of the part you're polishing and try to use long strokes like this wherever possible. When you're buffing off, keep changing the cloth around so you don't just keep spreading the old polish around. And as a point of interest, the bit on the right has been polished with a cloth and the bit on the left has been polished with a scourer so you can really see the difference in finish. 